what you see here is um, some chicken thighs, about maybe five pieces or so. You have some yellow and um, orange bell pepper with onions. And um, it's cooking in, I'm cooking in the top, so it's not burning me. Um, it's cooking in a little bit of um, extra virgin olive oil. And I'll show you the brand. And that's the brand. 100% um, California olive oil, extra virgin. And as you can see, it is cold pressed. I also mix in a little bit of coconut oil. Uh, and it is also cold pressed, organic certified, and it's unfermented, which is what I prefer. And it's cooking quite nicely. Even though a little bit of it is splashed and it's cooking quite nicely. And you don't want to flip it over too much. You want to use a non-stick pan. And some of the chicken is making some of its own juices. And I know you're wondering, what am I cooking? Well, I am cooking... Oh, I forgot. I put a little bit of garlic paste in the can um, with the veggies. Um... And what I'm cooking is, I'm using a chicken salad, something healthy. And I'm using healthy oil to cook it in. And I could have easily used my air fryer or my Instapot and avoid it. The oil all together but I just wanted that extra flavor. Not to say those machines are lacking any flavor, because it isn't. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let this cook, and I don't wanna flip it over too much, because I want it to cook all the way through. And as you can see, it's starting to cook up right here. So in a minute, I'll be able to flip it over and cook this side. And I'll show you all the, all the ingredients I got for the salad. Let's grab what we need out the refrigerator. As you can see, I have a ton of stuff on my counter. That's because I I have these out because I'm always wiping things down, making sure I don't do any cross contamination. I'm gonna just sit that on top of my refrigerator. Um, I need to put these seasonings back up. But anyways, let's go over the ingredients. I have some tomatoes, some chrome and tomatoes. I have two bags of iceberg lettuce. I have some shredded carrots. And then I have this jumbo salad mix organic. Um, it has spinach. It says spinach and spring mix. And what comes with that is baby spinach, baby lettuce, and all the goodness that you need. <laughs> so I'm gonna mix all three of these together. And then I have me some cucumbers. Some beautiful cucumbers that I'm gonna wash really good. And I'm gonna eat a big bowl of salad. And my salad bowl is gonna be so huge because even if I eat a big bowl of it, it's less than 800 calories. <laughs> it's less than 600 calories, to be honest. Um, anyways, let's get back to the cooking portion. So it looks like the chicken is ready to be flipped over. So I'm gonna flip it over. Ooh, you see that brown right there? That's creating flavor. And you can use this juice to make a nice, healthy, um, what is that called? Salad dressing? And it's easy to do that. 
all you need is a little bit of olive oil or use this oil olive oil a little bit of lemon juice balsamic vinegar or um let me show you something else or you can use olive oil with a little bit of uh, Dijon mustard and a little bit of honey a nice quality brand of honey I got a couple of uh, honey canes in my um, refrigerator. I don't feel like doing any of that. So I'm putting on a little bit of extra calories by using ranch dressing. I haven't had ranch dressing in years. So I really have a taste for it. So I'm gonna let this cook on this side a little bit longer. And these, these vegetables are starting to get caramelized. Just how I like it. Who said a salad can't have flavor? After these, after this gets done cooking, I'm gonna chop everything up on my chopping board. And what's not cooked, what, I mean finished, what, yeah, what's not done, what get thrown back into the pot to finish cooking. <clears throat> so, let's get this salad prepared and ready for the meat. I'll be back. I know a lot of you guys are gonna wonder, like, what type of seasoning did you use? Um, and I'm gonna go over that with you right now. I use dried parsley flakes. I use the spicy dental. I used a little bit of pink Himalayan salt a little bit of onion powder, a pinch of go 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 Goya, sure did, and um, my favorite ingredient, paprika. And I got this jumbo uh, thing of paprika from Amazon. It's not the spicy paprika, it's just a sweet, smoky paprika um the more paprika you put on your food the flavor for it is it's not spicy at all and i use a little bit of lemon pepper and um excuse the noise that you hear outside my house somebody is somebody's actually mowing or the grass or whatever i'll um let you guys see could see that was the noise that you heard in the background so that's what that's what I'm going to be eating today um, I let the chicken marinate um, overnight um, I put one teaspoon of balsamic well not balsamic vinegar wine vinegar <laughs> um, this is the big bowl that I will be eating my salad out of um, I'm going to put half of my salad in that bowl and I am going to eat the other half tomorrow. Um, when you're not really, uh, eating a lot of dense based foods, um, it's best that you don't under calorate yourself. Um, so... I know it may seem like a lot, but trust me, I'm eating less calories than you. Like, you just eating a McDouble from McDonald's and a medium fry is way more calories than that big bowl of salad. That's going to hold me over for the rest of the day. And then I'm going to have me a nice little snack um, later on today. But, um, yeah. If you were meal prepping, um, and this is going to be lunch, this is enough to feed you for about five days or five people. If you were meal prepping, if you're eating one meal a day, which is what I am doing, um, I'm doing um, the Nomad, and I'll get more into details about what that is. 
if you want to know. No man is one meal a day. And why people do it. And why I'm doing it. And yeah. So. Anyways, I'm going to turn the camera back around on the food. As you can see, everything is coming along quite nicely. I'm getting ready to flip everything back over. Let me put the phone in his hand. I need to get me a stand so I don't have to hold it. And when it comes to chicken, make sure you wiping everything down with sanitizing wipes like I just showed you or um, a nice paper towel with a little bit of bleach spray. And I'll show you the type of spray that I like to use because you don't want salmonella poison. It's best to clean as you go and keep your hands clean at all times. So, I'm gonna let that cook a little bit longer. I'm going to start washing the um, lettuce and I'm gonna start um, washing the cucumbers. And I do not put all of the green off the cucumber. I don't do that at all. I feel like it's pointless and even if I don't want nutrients. So I just shave one side of the cucumber and then I cut. So anyways, let's get into it. I forgot to tell you guys. I don't know if I told you guys when the video first started. Those are chicken thighs. Um, you can use chicken breast. Um, chicken breast is a little bit dry. Um, Unless I'm cooking it, then it's very moist. But typically, it's it's really dry. And um, not, you know, I don't know. I love turkey. I mean, chicken um, thighs. People ask me, why are you eating boneless chicken thighs? And I say, why are you eating boneless chicken breast? It's tomato, tomato, you know, whatever you want. You can use chicken breast, but I just want to let you guys know that I was using chicken thighs. Anyways, I'm getting ready to cut up the veggies put it in a bowl and go from there now that i have everything rinsed out this is the bowl that i will be using for my salad and i didn't even use half of this i used about a quarter of this this is still more than half but I did use a whole bag of iceberg lettuce, um, which is on the bottom. And I'm getting ready to wash these carrots. I find it more convenient to get them pre-cut so I don't have to use my strainer to cut it myself or my food processor. So I'm gonna wash these carrots about half or a quarter. Now that I rinse the carrots off, and transfer them into the bowl. I'm going to rinse off the cucumbers. And I like to put everything in its own order and mix as I eat. So let's go. This is what I'm talking about when I say I shave uh, one side and I shave another side. So by shaving both sides or whatever, I'm, I'm making a flat surface for it to sit on um, as I work on my chopping board. There's plenty of cucumbers and I always toss the ends. But this is plenty of cucumbers. Plenty of cucumbers. You believe that was just one cucumber? Okay, so I'm going to use one tomato and a half. I have three tomatoes, but I'm gonna use one whole tomato and a half. I'm gonna rinse that off and cut it on up. Okay, so. I am getting ready to cut everything. <laughs> and I already rinsed these off, so I'm only using one and a half. Well, three is all you need. Three is all you need. So let's cut these up. And I'm going to get rid of this part. There it is. And I'm just going to cut it up. And when you cut down the line, 
you should make three, three of these. So all together, since I'm using three halves, it should be nine sticks. And then you're just gonna take those nine sticks and you're just gonna cut down the middle. You're just gonna cut down the middle. Perfect. And then you're just gonna take these and put them over here. So as you can see, let me move some of this stuff off, off the vision. Just gonna put put it over here. Now we're going to clean off this chopping board, and we'll be back. And after we clean off this chopping board, we're gonna chop some of the meat. So now that um, I clean the board off, I'm gonna finish loading the meat. We want to get ready to chop all it up at one time. I did put this back on the eye because I had turned it off of the owl. I don't think I'm saying that right. Owl? I? Whatever the, the knob is called. Um, because I didn't want to overcook the meat. I still wanted it to be juicy. But in the process of that, this has to warm back up. So I'm gonna put that on low and try to locate my knife. What did I do with that knife? Hmm. Okay, here it is. Oh, let me put some gloves on. I'm just one of those, like don't get me wrong, my hands are clean. I'm just one of those people that that's extra. see if the meat has cooked all the way through and I like to put my chopping board here oh no I have counter space over here as well as over here as well and all of that behind me is counter space also I just you know it's easy to just do it this way put that to the side I'm gonna try a piece Oh my God. <laughs> mm. And I thought it was gonna be spicy. The reason why I thought it was gonna be spicy because I put some, um, what is it called? Chili garlic sauce, which is, oh my God, this is so freaking good. Just a teaspoon in any type of sauce would take it over the top. But because I only put a little bit in there or whatever, it wasn't spicy at all. And you know what? I'm gonna go back over these and cut them up. And this is plenty of protein, as you can see. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of protein. So, let's. This camera is act like it's not catching me. <laughs> but anyways, um, let's put plenty of this on here. That's one handful, and that's two handfuls. Let me show you this. Doesn't that look delicious? And now that I thought about it, I think I do want, come on camera, <laughs> it's not focusing. 
Now that I think about it, I do want cheese. I do want cheese, and I don't believe in pre-shredded cheese for various amount of reasons. The cheese is going to bring on more calories, but I'm going to do the cheese. Let me put this to the side. Boom. But before I get the cheese, let me take some of this goodness and this, this amazing extra version olive oil uh, cold press with this unrefined organic coconut oil and drizzled some of this on top of the salad with the onions and bell peppers. Okay, so boom. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on all of it. Boom, and then get some of that delicious juice. Perfect. And I just want you to see that. Oh, that looks so fucking good. Excuse my language, y'all. Baby. Oh, let's not forget the cheese. So, this is what I have in my refrigerator. I have extra sharp cheddar cheese as well as come back on the camera as well as extra extra sharp cheddar cheese and it doesn't look like it because it's white and that's because they didn't use food coloring or um, mustard seeds to naturally change it to the yellow color and this is actually a little bit more expensive and it's really good so I'm going to shred it on up and I'll be back as you can see this little piece right here that was on top I cut that off so I'm going to use that little piece of cheese and then since it's not that much of this um, uh, cheese left only a small portion I say it's about maybe give or take because my food scale is right there but um it's about four grams four and a half grams this is about two and a half grams well not grams I mean ounces why do I keep saying ounces and grams? This is about four and a half um, ounces. And this is about two and a half. So give or take seven and a half ounces of cheese. <laughs> Sounds like a lot, doesn't it? Anyways, yeah, let's get into it. So now that we're back, if this thing will look at me, I'm trying to get it to focus. We can go ahead and start shredding. Let's start with the yellow. And I wasn't even planning on using any cheese. Let me make sure this eye is off. It was on low. But now it's off. Making sure I'm in the camera. Okay. If it stops turning on its own and just focus on me. You know what? I'm just going to put it right here. Should I just put it right here, you guys? But then you won't be able to see me. So... I'll have to find a better way to show off everything. <sighs> now I can just focus on strutting this cheese. And I'm such a cheese person, so when it gets to right here, I just eat it. Oh God. I love cheese. <laughs> so let's do this. The white extra extra sharp cheddar. Mm. 
it's a little bit more firmer. So it's best to go fast with that. <laughs> so now that I got it, I'm gonna lift it up. And that looks like plenty of cheese to me. And since I'm right by the sink, I can just easily take this, put it in the sink, take this cheese, spread it on the top, or I can just put it right in the middle, like that. This is a salad that can feed several people, but this is the only meal I'm eating today. So, I'm probably gonna eat half of it now and eat another half of it later. It still doesn't equal up to lunch, breakfast, and dinner in a snack, but hey. And then, maybe after that, I might be up to getting on my treadmill and exercising, burning a little bit of calories that way. Um, if you guys let me go, let me know if you guys want to see me um, exercise. Um, what I do at home, because um, typically when I'm at home, I'm on the treadmill for about 45 minutes. Um, that's during the evening or before I go to bed. Um, during the morning time, I go on YouTube and I do a dance video. So if you ever want me to set up my camera in the living room in the morning time and dance <laughs> and you want to join along and burn calories with me, let me know down below in the comments. And then also, um, I look a hot mess, but I had to get my hair out of my face. I had to get it all out. Um, let me take off these gloves so I can touch my hair. Now I can finally let it back down so I can look normal. Hmm. So yeah. So um, if you guys want to see me exercising at home and you want to join along in the morning time when I'm doing my little dance uh, exercises, or when I'm just on my treadmill, comment down below, like I said. And also, um, I go to Planet Fitness. So if you want me to take you with me to Planet Fitness, if you want me to do more uh, uh, food videos, let me know. Because that's what my channel is mainly going to be about. Um, after I get done um, with these Audible stories, I will not be re-uploading any episodes that you have missed. Um, it's 440 episodes. Right now, we're on 413. And after we get to the end, my channel will solely focus on my weight loss journey, focus on my life goals that I lay out for myself, and positivity, basically. Um, I hope that you guys stay. I got cheese all on the top right here. I hope that you guys stay um, and be a part of my channel um, after I'm done with these. Speaking of um, videos, I am going to upload a couple of episodes later on today. It may not be at 5 o'clock. I'm not really sure, depending on what I have going on. I'm going to try to squeeze it in at 5 o'clock. If not, then it'll be later on today, but definitely today. Um, the sooner I get done with these audible books, the sooner I can focus on what my channel is uh, mainly about. Um, like I said, thank you so much for watching and supporting me, um, being a part of the channel. If you like this video, please show your support by liking the video. Um, subscribing if you're not already subscribed um, liking the video um, it helps with the algorithm of YouTube to be honest so um, thank you so much peace oh do you see this oh baby